here comes the confident. Here comes the cocky. Here comes the cool. Cameron Cole. Cameron Cole had his issues with Edge Stone as of late, but he's also taken his game up to the next level. As arrogant as he may come across, this man is good. In this massive parking lot in front of a capacity crowd is Mantell making his return after nearly what seems like a year. About eight months since we last saw this man in action. Former Reality of Wrestling Texas champion who could forget his epic brawl on pay-per-view against ruthless Ryan Davidson. And now he's back in action book. Cam Cole. Oh, no, no, Cam, not Cam Cole. That's Man Tail. Uh, let me tell you something about Man Tail. This guy's a wild man. He's a throwback. He, he reminds me of guys like, you know, Mad Dog Buzz Sawyer, Killer, Killer Tim Brooks. Guys that just went out there and had a fight. But he's a technician at the same time. He's a calculated throwback. So I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what Man Tail. We hadn't seen him in a while. We've got to see exactly what he has tonight. A throwback is a great way to describe the former Reality Wrestling Texas champion. And, and, and he's a little bit off. I don't know if you ever had a conversation with Mantell. No, I mean, he's quiet. You know, quiet guys, you, you really don't want to mess with those type of guys because you see exactly what he can do inside the square circle. Uh, those type of guys, you know, Haku, those type of guys, you don't want to cross them. That's the type of guy Mantell is. Look at the body on Mantell. Yeah, he's just all power, all Texas, all the time. Yeah, Cam Cole takes a little break. That right there shows me Cam Cole is learning. That lets me know Cam Cole is a thinking man's wrestler, and that's what you need inside the square circle with a man like Mantell. He will devour you. You better run. You don't want to rush into anything. You caught sleeping. <laughs> well, Mantell. Like you said, Booker, he's been out of action in reality of wrestling for quite some time, pre-pandemic, of course. So it's been at least eight months, maybe longer, since we've seen him inside that illustrious reality of wrestling ring. But when he was here, when we saw him on a more frequent basis, what a powerhouse of a competitor Mantel was I mean, and continues we, I mean, to be. I mean, come on, we haven't had a better champion here at Reality of Wrestling. Mantel has, uh, you know, he, he, he's, he's, er he's, he's earned his strike here at the Reality of Wrestling. He's not just one of the guys here at Reality oh, of oh Wrestling. Oh my goodness. He's a, a real boss here at Reality of Wrestling. Let's see if he can boss around Cam Cole and get a victory tonight. Well, here's the thing about Cam Cole is even though his win-loss column might might not show it as of late, he has been terrific and competitive in all of his matches. I mean, Cam Cole is one of those guys to where it's like, man, he, he's learning. It seems like he's right there at that mark, but, you know, he'll take a step back here, a uh, step back there. But I look at Cam Cole and say, this is a guy who's got talent. He just needs to pick it up just a little bit. He may, maybe needs to, you know, go to the go to the, uh, the, the the game room and start thinking about the the playbook a little bit more. Hey, stop smoking that blueberry uh, little pen that he has. I think that right there might be the one thing. I think he told me he had blueberry last time. That right there is not going to help. Him. Well, he is from California, so he might have a little blueberry in there. Who knows? <laughs> Well, really, really, this is a great illustration of swing vote. You know, we have someone representing the great state of California, one man representing the great state of Texas. They are locking horns in competition, but it is all in the spirit of that competition. It's all about competition. This is um, the, a true debate right here um, between two men. Uh, and I tell you right there, Mantell, he's a grown man uh, in hell uh, with this kid, Cam Cole. Cam Cole is going to have to try to think his way through this match tonight because he's not going to be able to out-muscle big Mantell. Cam, slide through and the knife edge chop again that knocks him down to the ground. What inertia behind those shots. That's what I'm talking about. He's not going to be without muscle, 
Oh, man, like Mantell, you look at Mantell, even in the pandemic, you can tell he must have a gym in his house or maybe some dumbbells or something because he still looks like he's in great tip-top shape. I think he's lifting kegs or, or, or throwing tires. He's doing he's doing old school calisthenics, anything wow, to keep man. himself in shape. I tell you right now, Cam Cole is getting taken to the woodshed. I mean, these chops, these knife edge chops, they got to... Oh, my goodness, he could have broken his hand on that. That knife edge chop going right into a steel post. Oh, my gosh, Booker T. Man, I'm going to tell you right now, Cam Cole is all over him like a cheap suit right now. And Cam needs to just keep the pressure on, just keep applying pressure on this big man. I'm going to tell you, if he got a broken hand, I'm going to tell you, it's hard to even try to think about fighting through something like that. The pain is excruciating if you ever had just one bro Trust me, I've had a broken hand before, and it's not something you want to play with. Look, Mantel focused on that hand, and Cameron Cole dropping a drop kick right on two at cover one, two, and a kick out from Mantel. Broken hand and all. I don't know, Booker T. It might be smart to live to fight another day if you're Mantel. No, Referee Isaac Bouillon might need to stop I this. Mean, seriously, I mean, I, I broke my hand playing basketball at the park, man. You know, right into a kid's elbow, man, broke it. And I was like, wow, hit me with the ball. And next thing you know, ow, man, take me to the hospital. What the hell is going on? So I'm going to tell you right now, if Mantel got a broken hand, it's like having a broken jaw. It's like having a, a broken foot. You got to stop the fight. Isaac Bouillon, though. Locking eyes with Mantel. Mantel signaling that he's okay to go. I don't know how smart that is. And going right back to that knife edge chop. See the pain, though. See the pain. Uh, you see uh, Mantel grimacing a whole lot of pain after landing that one shot. You know, it's almost like this bare knuckle fighting. These guys, oh! you know, I mean, hit hit one another and break their hand. Sometimes you got to stop the fight just from that alone. So I'm going to tell you, Mantel is, could be, he could be in dire straits right now. Cam Cole taunting our reality wrestling no, no, I think he's step stepping on the hand. Oh, like you're that. absolutely stepping right. Stepping on the hand and just make it's almost like pouring salt in the wound uh, right now. Cam Cole is just taking advantage of that broken hand, and I tell you, what a smart uh, you know tactic if you Cam Cole. Throwing him back inside the squared circle. Cam Cole now in a great position to get that elusive victory in recent weeks. Oh, look at that. Look at that right there. He's bending that, the wrist back. He's trying to, I mean, I tell you, if the hand wasn't broke, Cam Cole is doing everything he possibly can to do to, you know, uh, try to break something, try to crack something, try to get this, this big Texas bull to quit. Well, again, Booker T, I think that you've touched on it before. Someone needs to have the wherewithal, the understanding and know-how to just get in there and stop it. You know, I tell you, Cam Cole is, you know, he's taking a playbook straight out of the playbook of someone of a Bobby Bowden, you know, one of these coaches that, who's just not... Uh, you know, not shy of breaking the rules. Yeah, that's what Cam Cole is doing right now. And my thing is this. If I'm Cam Cole, I'm going to go out and I'm going to use every trick in the book to get a victory over a guy like Mantell because you got to understand, I'm born and bred right here at Reality Wrestling. This is my house. I'm inviting you into my house. I'm letting you sit down at my table and eat my food. I'm letting you sleep in the guest room in my house. And you want to come in and sleep with my wife? No, you're not going to do that. That's what Cam Cole is thinking about right now. Well, you've heard it here first, folks. Cam Cole is thinking about Mantel sleeping with his non-existent wife as we return to the action inside the squared circle. What is in that cup that you're drinking? The one belt is. The one belt is. Right now, we got a fight going down right here. Uh, reality arrested. Sweet vote. Guys, the uh, November 3rd, guys, go. Make sure you go out and vote. Make sure you, your voice is heard. But, but tonight, we're watching two guys going toe to toe inside the square circle. Go. Reality arresting. Sweet vote. Go. And a jumping in Zagiri from Cameron Cole, the cool kid from California. I tell you, uh, see, like the. The, the, the tides turn once that hand 
um, came into play with that, that, that oh! broken hand grab. But we just that big spine buster. Shades of Orn Anderson. This guy's looking good again. Look like, look like Mantell is back in the fight. Well, that adrenaline probably setting in. The pain in his hand going away. And look at that picking him up. Carry him clear across the ring. Some big shoulders. Oh! You saw that? He looked like he was going to go with that, that right hand to chop, but he changed it up to, to a left hand. And sometimes you got to think about that right there was smart for Mantell. And now he looks like he's going to go for that big, that big close. Shout line. ball, bam! Wow! Cameron Cole turned inside out. I mean, he reminded me of a uh, good friend of mine right there. Hall of Famer JBL. He hadn't got the ring yet, but he, he's close. And here he is looking for that 100 proof slam. Boy. Can he get it? No, Cameron no. Cole. Wait a minute, Cam Cole just, just threw Isaac Bouillon to the side. Our referee is down. I mean, Isaac Bouillon looked like perhaps he. He's, 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 he's telling me at, the, at, at his collarbone, maybe Bouillon may have broken a collarbone or something. Man, tell going to check. Cam on. Cole. Cam Cole is. Cam Cole is. Come on here. Wait a minute, a steel chair and toad from Cameron Cole. Oh, it hits him right in the back. Oh, the big, oh, that just pissed this oh. big man tail off. Big boot straight to the snout. And look at that steel chair, how it is contorted. The steel is contorted around the shape of Cam Cole's cranium. Oh, look like the man tail, look like the big man is gonna use it. He's gonna use that chair. Oh, wait a minute. Isaac Bouillon coming to his senses, and he's disqualifying Mantell. He heard that steel oh, chair. Come on, ref. I mean, you got to be kidding me, right? Turning Mantell, the referee heard that steel chair be being used, and when he got up, Mantell had it in his hand. Possession's not to the law. Come on, Cam Cole's on the, on the way out with that damn blueberry fake pin. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. This, this should not have happened to Texas boy, Texas pride. Mantell, we gotta get a rematch as quick as we possibly can. Well, I know the man who knows the man who can make it happen. Maybe I'll put in a phone call. Call it, damn it. Mantel is one pissed off Texan. But I have a feeling we will see these two lock horns again at Swing Vote.